Now, from Wall Street to State Street, the final word on today's numbers and all the day's business news. This is New England Business Day on NECM. It's a work in progress, but there's a lot of great promise that this device has shown. Groundbreaking scalpel-free surgery, lasers, infrared lights, and flexible fibers mean you're back on your feet faster. And it's happening right here in New England. So we begin tonight with a look at the cutting edge of surgery. Going under the scalpel is never fun, but a new groundbreaking technology developed right here in New England could mean your procedure would have a faster recovery time, less pain, and a more precise operation. NECN business reporter Peter Howe was in Cambridge, Massachusetts today to check out the OmniGuide laser. He's in the newsroom. Hi, Peter. Hey, thank you, Beth. Uh, surgeons, as you may know, have been using lasers for decades, and in more and more ways. You may know, you may know folks who've had laser eye surgery so that they don't need to wear contacts or eyeglasses. Now, I'm sorry if you're eating dinner while I'm saying this, but lasers are an excellent tool for basically burning through diseased body tissue with great, pre great precision to remove, say, a tumor. And at the same time, a booming multi-million dollar, multi-billion dollar medical market in what is uh, known as minimally invasive medicine is also starting to develop. Doctors fixing our insides through the smallest holes they can make on the outside. Now a Cambridge, Massachusetts company is right at the forefront of making laser surgery a minimally invasive procedure. Dr. Anand Devaya is a head and neck surgeon at Boston Medical Center. Of all the parts of your body you'd be least excited to have a surgeon slice open, Dr. Devaya understands you might especially worry about your head and neck. We uh, really are trying to push the limits of doing the maximum amount of benefit for patients with the least amount of invasiveness. In recent months, Dr. Devaya has extensively tested a new laser surgery device. It's made by OmniGuide of Cambridge, Massachusetts. It uses a special kind of infrared light that surgeons love. With it, they can control to one layer of cells how deeply they cut. There have been other infrared laser surgery devices, but this is the first one with a flexible fiber tube to aim the light right where the surgeon needs it. The tube only needs a tiny incision or a natural body opening. That can mean way less cutting. Another option is you make a incision incision across the face and down and pull everything apart this way. Uh, the other option, which we now can, can perform, is to actually just use the nostrils. The magic here is the tube. It's actually an extraordinary mirror, manufactured a little like thread, and this aims the light. This fiber and this preform have exactly the same structure. OmniGuide just closed on $25 million in new venture capital funding. That's on top of $50 million that investors have already put into the company. And the new funds are going to help OmniGuide expand into several new surgical markets. Spinal surgery, a neuro neurosurgery, so removal of, of tumors and, and growth from the brain. Even a, a simple procedure like uh, tonsillectomy, uh, removal of tonsils in, in children, could be done with less pain. Dr. Devai has done over 100 head and neck surgeries with the device. He's now serving as a paid consultant to the company, he readily discloses. He won't yet claim it's perfect or suitable for every surgery. It's been a uh, fantastic tool um, for the applications we've been testing it with, and we're learning more and more about the way it interacts with, uh, with the uh, tissues of the body and how there are uh, certainly benefits to using it. And Beth, as excited as many doctors are about this kind of laser surgery, as he said at the top, it can also be great news for patients. Smaller surgical incisions mean your body can recover much faster after an operation and you get home from the hospital much sooner. In the newsroom, Peter Howe, NECN. So Peter, what's the history of this? How did this technology come about? Well, you, Beth, that's a fascinating, uh, fascinating question. It originally had nothing to do with medicine. Uh, DARPA, the agency at the Pentagon that's built the beginning, that built the beginning of the internet back in the 60s, funded research in the 90s into what they called the perfect mirror, material that would theoretically completely reflect and never absorb light. You'll think the OmniGuide CEO you just saw was with that MI team that had so much success with that work. And when they started asking, all right, how do we actually use this perfect mirror, they realized that it would be huge in laser surgery. Way down the road you might also see this tiny perfect mirror tube showing up in telecommunications or high-tech manufacturing or other things we haven't yet imagined. Just another pretty amazing MIT breakthrough. Peter Howe in the newsroom tonight. Thanks.